Cause she's doing the nasty with Caleb. That's enough of this conversation now. <laughs> All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel site. Today, by the title, we are doing the last episode of My Brother's Hot Best Friend. Okay, this is the final episode. Last episode, that little, that little heifer sent a photo to Matt of me and Caleb, so he obviously knows about us now. That's great. Um, but yeah, I'm really, you know, I'm just, I'm excited for this. They finally kind of got together, so we're gonna see what happens. Also, the next um, series I'm gonna be doing is probably My Sister's Crush 2. If you guys have any other suggestions, just comment down below. But that's what I'm planning on doing, and then we'll be finished with that, and then we'll go on to another one. So, let me know what you guys think, and what we're gonna be doing next. So, let's just jump into the game and see what's gonna happen. Episode 12, The Confrontation. <sighs> okay. Wait, they're in their room now? I thought they were on the streets. Kayla, what's that noise? It sounds like there's a party downstairs. Sorry, I didn't know this room was taken. Uh, that's gross. Get the f out. <laughs> what's going on? I'm guessing my dear old stepmom is back. Come on, we're leaving. Ew. Babe, go into my car and wait there. Wow, babe. I'm sorry, this is a serious time. I shouldn't be doing that. But come on, guys. What are you going to do? I'm going to pack some food and blankets. Then we'll go somewhere where you can be alone. I know a great place. You'll love it. I don't care as long as I'm with you. <gasps> yeah, I don't care where we are as long as I'm with you. I feel the same way. I hate when they do that. Like... What the hell are you doing? Are you stealing food? I'm not stealing anything. I bought it since you left without leaving any food in the fridge. You could have told me you were coming home with 10 dudes. I had a girl over. Why should I do that? It's my home. Because I live here too. I'm the one paying the bills. You know what? I'm not gonna argue with you right now. You reek of alcohol and you're high as a kite. I have a beautiful girl waiting for me and I'm not going to let you ruin my night. I'm so sorry you had to see that. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of here. I promise I'm gonna make you forget all about it. Um, whose car is that? Matt and Toby. Okay. So y'all are gonna confront me together so then I can confront you? Is that how it's gonna work? He's having a party? Maybe you should talk to him tomorrow. No, what if my sister is in there? Matt, it doesn't matter what you say. I'm going in there. I need to talk to him. Mm, that's not good. No bueno at all. Who the hell are these people? I don't know, but they look scary. Look, Caleb's stepmom is over there. Surely she can't be okay with this. Actually, she's the one having the party. <gasps> oh my. Do you guys see this right now? Excuse me, Mrs. Thorne. Uh, ew. What are you looking at, punk? Uh, I'm kind of wondering that too. We're looking for Caleb. Who? Your stepson? Oh, he left about 15 minutes ago. If you see him, tell him I want my food back. Do you know where he went? Nope, and I don't care. He's nothing but a pain in my ass. You really don't mean that, right? I always speak the truth. His father didn't leave me a penny when he died. He gave everything to Caleb. The only thing I got was his awful offspring. I don't even like kids. How was that fair? Matt, I think we should leave. Do you guys have any coke on you? Uh, I have one in the car. I don't think she meant, like, coke to drink. No, Toby, not that kind of coke. Okay, time to get out. Let's go. It all makes sense now. He never wanted to hang out at his place. He never wanted to talk about Debbie. How could I not have seen it? God, I'm such a bad friend. Matt, don't beat yourself up over this. Why don't we go home and deal with this tomorrow? Yeah, okay. This place is really romantic, Caleb. Good, I was hoping you'd like it. I just want to stay like this with you forever. Me too. This is a dream come true for me. Really? Are you kidding? I'm lying next to you on a cozy blanket and looking up at the stars. 14-year-old me would die out of happiness. How about if I kissed you now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm spending my money on this, guys. She would definitely have a heart attack if you kissed her like that. That was all I could think about when I saw you. God, I had such a stupid crush on you. It wasn't stupid. I like knowing that you liked me that much, even though I have no idea why. I'll tell you why. You're brave, honest, funny, and charismatic, and you're handsome. I didn't have a chance against you. I've never had anyone compliment me like that. The compliments I usually get are that I'm hot, have a nice body, or I have a big di- uh, Caleb! That's gross. 
kidding. You're so cute when you're blushing. Do you want to know what I like about you? Tell me. You have so much compassion for others and you don't care what other people think of you. You have a positive energy that makes people want to be around you. You have so much love in that heart of yours, it's a wonder it hasn't blown out of your chest. You are also stubborn as hell, which I really like about you. How do you always know exactly what to say? When I'm with you, it just comes naturally. I really like you, Lola. Um, do not say I love you. Let him say it. <laughs> To say I like you too. I know we've only dated for 24 hours, but it feels right when I'm with you. I know, I feel it too. I've wanted you ever since I saw you at the skate park. What was your first thought when you saw me? Uh, I'd rather not tell. Oh, come on, I won't be upset. Please tell me and I'll let you know what I thought about you. Fine. I didn't recognize you right away. I thought you were some new girl. My first thought was... My first thought was that I wanted to take you home and... And what? Take you to bed. Okay, that... Okay. That's enough of this conversation now. <laughs> no way, you wanted to sleep with me? Of course, I thought you were hot. And when I realized who you were, I almost had a heart attack. I felt so guilty about wanting you. That's why I left with Libby. I needed to get those thoughts about you out of my head as soon as possible. Did it work? No, I kept thinking about you. Now tell me what you thought about me. Well, I was away for three years and I knew I had to see you at some point. I was hoping that the years apart would have made me realize that you weren't as handsome as you used to be. But when I saw you, you were even more handsome than three years ago. I knew I would fall for you again. I I'm happy you did. Tell me nothing is gonna come between us. Nothing is coming between us. As soon as you guys say that, something's gonna happen. Just saying, it always does. I don't think I could have dreamt a better way to spend the night together. Give yourself to Caleb under the stars? You literally said, no, 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 We're not doing that. Me neither. I like the way you smell. Thanks. Really? What do I smell like? Like strawberries and sunshine. Tastes like strawberries. Yeah, I like Harry Styles. I didn't know you could smell like sunshine. I didn't either until you got close enough to smell. I didn't know you could be this romantic. <laughs> if someone said this to me, I would literally laugh in their face. No offense, but... I guess with you, it becomes natural. I'm really happy I was your first kiss. I want you to be my first everything. Um, okay. Really? Yes. Um, Lola, are you sure? I just made the option to not give it up to him and it's still happening? What is going on? It's like the choice isn't even mine at this point. Yes, I trust you and I want you. I want you too. I want you more than your body. I want your heart. It's already yours. Um, they're just like out in the wilderness? <laughs> I've called her 15 times. Why isn't she picking up? Cause she's doing the nasty with Caleb. <laughs> what if something happened to her? Yep, something's definitely happening to her. I'm sure she's fine. She's probably hanging out with Caleb. Yep. Babe, relax. Oh, babe, okay. Okay. Oh, so we caught them. Hold up. Wait a minute. O-M-G. Uh, best friend versus best friend? Did you two just kiss each other? I can explain. Toby and I are kind of seeing each other. You're gay? I don't think so. I like girls too. So you're bi? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know, Caleb. Why didn't you tell me about Lola? Uh, this is kind of awkward right now, but yeah. What? I know you're hooking up with my sister. We're not hooking up. It's not like that. Then explain this picture someone sent to me. Uh, yeah, I can totally explain that. Definitely. We're actually dating <laughs> and hooking up. Yeah. Who sent it? Doesn't matter. Why did you go behind my back? Um, I could ask you the same thing. Look, I didn't want to do it. I tried to resist her. I really did. You didn't try hard enough. How can you be so upset when you did the same thing? Toby's my best friend and you both went behind my back. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so sorry, Lola. It's not the same thing. Of course it is. What do you mean? It's exactly the same thing. I told Caleb I didn't want him to make a move on you. It's true. I promised I wouldn't. He's allowed to be upset with me. Damn right. Don't be mad at him, Matt. What we have is special. It's true. I want to be with her. I don't want to hear about it. Listen, I've seen them together and I really think he's serious. Did you know about them? I didn't know that they were a thing. I just knew that they liked each other. Why didn't you tell me? Because Lola is my best friend. But I'm your boyfriend. I can't do this right now. Oh my god, what is going on? Matt, what, what is going on? No one has the right to be upset right now. It is the same situation, except he might have told him not to go for me and he did anyways. But that's besides the point. The point is, it's the same situation because we're both dating each other's best friends. 
I'll go after him. He needs his friend right now. Can we talk, please? I'm so sorry about everything. I just want us to be friends again. Can we work things out? Of course we can work things out. It's not that big of a deal. Honestly, it was more Matt's secret to tell anyways, so I can't really be upset at Toby. Of course we can talk. I want to work things out too. Good. I should have told you. I just didn't want to put Matt in a difficult situation. I understand. I really do have feelings for him. It's not just a fling. I don't think I've ever felt like this for a guy. I've had my eyes on him for a very long time. I've just never thought he'd like me back. I know, I remember you told me on the first day of school how hot you thought he was. There's no hard feelings between us, Toby. You're a great friend, and I know that you mean well. I really do. I promise not to hide things from you again. Good. And if anyone can treat my brother right, it's you. Aww, that is so cute, you guys. Can we talk? I have nothing to say to you. All right, then I'll talk. Lola means a lot to me. She's always been a great friend. I don't know exactly when my feelings started to change, but they did. I did everything in my power to resist her. I even dated Avery, but she managed to get close to me and I had no choice but to give in to my feelings. She makes me happy. I really want you to be happy, but not with Lola. I get it. My sister means the world to me and I'm afraid that you're going to break her heart. And I don't want things to be weird between us if things didn't work out. I get it, but I wouldn't dream of hurting her. Do you love her? Yeah, I do. <gasps> Guys. What? I was afraid you'd say that. Fine, if you really love each other, then I guess you have my permission to date her. Just don't hurt her. I won't, thank you. It really means a lot to me, Matt. <laughs> That is so nice. Hey, did you find Matt? I did, we had a long talk and he's calmed down now. So he's okay with us seeing each other? Yeah, we have his blessing. I can't believe we can be together without having to hide. Me neither. Uh, I kind of have a question for you. What is it? I'm crazy about you, Lola. No one's ever gonna say that to me, so that's okay, I'll just say it. I'll just stay sad, it's fine. I can't imagine not having you in my life. You mean so much to me. So I wanna make us official. Do you wanna be my girlfriend? Yes, I would love to be your girlfriend. I love you, Lola Rose. Already? <laughs> Am I that great? I've always loved you and I always will. That's the ending? That was the ending? What? I am not satisfied with the ending. What's gonna happen when he goes to school and then he's not there anymore? And then what's gonna happen with Toby and Matt? I've, I have all these unanswered questions. That wasn't good enough for me. Guys, and what about Kevin? And Avery, and there's all these other people. I didn't get, I didn't get everything. I don't know what to say. Anyways, I guess that's the end of my brother's hot best friend. I honestly was expecting the ending to be a little bit more, a little bit more, but it just ended like that. Okay, it was still good, but I wanted more. I still have unanswered questions. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what episodes you guys want me to do after My Sister's Crush 2. Or do you guys still want me to do My Sister's Crush 2? Let me know. Um, but I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.